Alright, so now I'm going to talk about how to fish a Senko. This is a relatively recent invention, um, and it took a while to catch on because it's such a simple looking lure and you don't really do much with it when you fish it, but I think it took a while to catch on and, and it took a while for fishermen to buy it, but for whatever reason, fish really love this lure, uh, so I'm going to talk about how to fish it. Uh, just a little bit about the setup. Um, I'm using a, a fairly light spinning reel, six pound line on it, uh, medium light type rod, spinning rod, uh, medium action, nothing, nothing real, real special here. Uh, with the bigger baits you might want to use a little bigger setup and maybe a, a bait casting setup. Uh, but this is kind of my basic Senko rig. Uh, so here's kind of a smaller, it's like a 4 inch Senko. And uh, this is a, a color I like. It's, it's a good natural color and basically what you do with this lure, uh, it's kind of counterintuitive. You can, you can rig it either Texas like this or Wacky which I'll show in a second. Uh, and you basically just cast it out and let it sink on a slack line and let it sit for a little while and then just gently lift up on the rod and a lot of times there will be a bass sitting on the rod and then you just set the hook. If there's no bass sitting on the rod, you kind of bring it up a little bit, let it fall down and it has a very subtle action with this tail. Uh, it doesn't look like much to the naked eye but for whatever reason fish really like it. Uh, and you want to make sure that you don't overfish this lure. Basically, you just cast it out and let it sink. And a lot of times, if the water's clear enough, um, you'll you'll see the fish come and, and grab it. And it's just I have no idea why they grab this thing, but but they do. So here's one way to rig it. This is kind of a green pumpkin with little glitter um, glitter sparkles in it. It's, it's a good color. I like the more natural colors for the Senkos. Uh, so this is a Texas rig type type setup. This is a good way to rig them. I have some other ones here that I like to use. They're, you, you'll notice they're all kind of along the same lines in terms of color, just kind of variations of the same thing. Uh, this is kind of a green pumpkin with black flake, green pumpkin with different kinds of sparkles, uh, watermelon, Big. this is a, a bigger one obviously, and a, another kind of watermelon green pumpkin type look. So personally, I never really stray from these colors. I know some people like uh, to use other colors. I, I stick with these kind of natural, natural looking uh, colors. So a couple ways to rig these. You can rig them Texas, Texas style, or you can rig them wacky. So wacky, you just bring the hook through the middle and just have it have it sticking like that and then when you cast it both sides kind of flutter down uh, which is a really nice action but if you rig it wacky you're gonna lose a lot of these things if the fish are biting because you're really only gonna get one fish uh, per lure and then they're gonna kind of tear apart because they're very soft and if you have it hooked through the metal they're just gonna fall apart so one nice trick I like to use is to get a little rubber o-ring thread that on to the Senko like this Oh, broke the Senko. See, these things are very soft. Anyway, so one thing I like to do is use a little rubber O ring like this, thread it onto the Senko. This is probably uh, better suited to a little smaller smaller Senko. Anyway, you pull it all the way to the middle and then you hook you hook the O-ring instead of the Senko and that way uh, you don't tear up the Senkos and uh, you know these things cost a buck or two a piece so you could go through 50 in a day and if, if you're able to catch two or three fish on the O-ring uh, on the same Senko without having to switch it out uh, you know, that could save you like 20 bucks in a day, so it's a nice little tip. Now we're going to look at how to, how to fish it underwater, but really there's not much to it. You just cast it out, let it sink, and then let it sit for a little bit, and then slowly lift the rod. And a lot of times you'll feel some weight on the end, and that's, that's a fish, and you set the hook. 
and uh, it's amazing. You know, I've, I've had some hundred fish days on these things and they just don't look like anything, uh, but they work. So here you see it, very subtle action, barely any movement, but for some reason the fish love it.